Leaders of the U.S.'s largest Somali community worry that some of their youth are being persuaded to join the Al-Shabaab extremist group that has claimed responsibility for the deadly mall attack in Nairobi, Kenya. Authorities say Somali Americans first began leaving the state of Minnesota to join Al-Shabaab six years ago. And now the Somali community is concerned over reports that a few of its locals might have had a hand in the violence at the Westgate Mall. The only way to combat such organization is really education, education, making sure that our young people are educated not only in, you know, in their religion and their background, but really um, you know, socially as well, so they're aware of you know, the good and the bad. Since 2007, at least 22 people have left the state of Minnesota for Al-Shabaab. Community leaders in Minneapolis are convinced that the recruitment can be stopped. Very confident in the notion that this is something that will end. Um, this will, these youth will snap out of it. The youth that have been approached um, will realize that this is not the right way to go. Al-Shabaab means the youth in Arabic. The organization uses religion and nationalism to brainwash young people. At least 18 men and three women have been charged in an ongoing Minnesota investigation. Some of the charges went to Somalia, while others are accused of aiding the process through fundraising. Seven have thus far pleaded guilty to various charges, and one man has been convicted on terrorism-related charges.